Uh, 30 years ago today, our excitement turned to utter sadness as the Space Shuttle Challenger exploded shortly after liftoff. Seven astronauts died, including Krista McAuliffe, the Framingham native and Concord, New Hampshire woman who was going to become the first teacher in space. We all remember that smile. McAuliffe wanted to travel aboard the shuttle to spread her love of education and teaching further. Though she never made it to space, McAuliffe's enthusiasm for learning lives on in her former students. Our Beth Germano takes a closer look tonight. So today is the 30th anniversary of the explosion. Fifth grade teacher Kristen Jakes can give this history lesson from personal experience as her students study a biography of Krista McAuliffe. Krista herself, I mean, just as a person, left a mark on people. And on her. Krista McAuliffe, the first teacher in space, was her social studies teacher at Concord, New Hampshire High School. She remembers the excitement watching Challenger launch with fellow students, the confusion, then tragedy. That time we were not watching launches and we didn't know, you know, what to expect. And, and then there was hope that there were parachuters coming out. The idea uh, was to get the program re-energized. McAuliffe shared her training and the experience left its mark. Now Kristen Jakes has followed in her teacher's footsteps. She just reached everybody. She respected every student and she brought the best out of everyone. When McAuliffe was a finalist for the NASA program, she told me in an interview about the enthusiasm for teaching she hoped to generate with lessons from space. I think I've always been a risk taker. I, I like to do things that are, are adventuresome. I'm really hoping that it generates a lot more excitement in the education process and, and gives teachers a, a more positive role. We would have kids in the back of the class who had no, did not want to be there, and she, she got them participating. She brought the best out of them, and I thought that's a real talent to be able to do. And a model she has adopted for herself. Yes, good. Krista McAuliffe's motto was, I touch the future, therefore I teach. And not just Kristen Jakes, but several members of the class of 1986 have also gone into teaching. Paula and David, beautiful tribute to her. But I think we all remember where we were. It's one of those moments. It was so shocking. And people around here were so excited, especially school children. You were at the high school in Concord, New Hampshire, watching with students there. there what was that like? There were a lot of reporters there that day, but it was a real party atmosphere. The launch had actually been scrubbed once before, so this was the day that Challenger was going up. Concord, New Hampshire High School Auditorium was packed with students, balloons, confetti, as you can see, a real party atmosphere. Mm -hmm. But when Challenger went up, they were clapping and cheering so loudly that nobody really understood what had happened until a teacher yelled out and said that something was wrong. The auditorium suddenly went very silent. There there was a lot of confusion. There wasn't a lot of information. Reporters like myself were immediately asked to leave the school. They ushered the students out of the auditorium, and there was no one could really figure out what was happening, but they really rallied around and protected those kids in the coming days, rallied around the staff, trying to help them deal with the aftermath. It's a moment you just don't forget. And hearing her words today is uh, really moving to hear those words again. It really is. And so great to hear your interview from 30 years ago, Beth. Thank you so much. Thanks, Beth. In fact, if you want to listen to the entire interview that Beth did with Krista McAuliffe, it's on our website right now, cbsboston.com. Mm -hmm.